Hey there, so in a previous video, someone has asked how to play a sound when you hit the ground after a jump. So today we are going to check this out. So as usual, I'm going to use uh, an asset. This one is a sound for the, the landing. It's this one, so if you want to get it, uh, check it out in the description. So we're inside the engine, let's first see what we're going to build. It's very simple, we are just going to play a sound when the character is landing. As simple as that. Let's see how we can build it. So first, we're going to create a blueprint based on the third person character. And we're going to call it um, BP on oops. on fall sound character. So we are not going to change anything here. We are going to go straight into the event graph and we are going to use this tick function that will be called at each tick. So if you want to change the tick rate, you can change it here. So by default it is zero, so it means that it will play at each tick. It will tick um, at each frame rather, sorry. Uh, but uh, we can change the different settings here. This one is the, um, is the most important. Then we have more parameters, but it's not really the point of this video. So for our system, we are going to use an in air variable. So as the name says, it will tell us if we are in air or not. And then at each tick, we are going to check first if we are landing. So we are landing if our in air variable is true. And we are going to use the character movement component, which is the default, um, a default component provided by Unreal Engine and it handles all movement things for the character. And we're going to use the is falling function and we are going to add the um, not boolean. I mean this condition will be true when we are registered in air but we are not falling anymore. So this is exactly the moment when we are landing. So that's when we're going to play the sound. We're going to use the, the actor location. And our landing sound. And we also need to set the in air variable to uh, false because we have just landed. So we are not in air anymore. And we've got a second thing to check is the, um, the moment when we are starting to jump. So we can reuse the same condition, but we are going to reverse the knot so that We need to be registered as not in air, but we have started falling. So this is exactly the moment where we are starting to jump. And there we are simply going to set the in air variable to true. And it's as simple as that. We just need to go to the third person and to the, the game mode to change the, um, the pawn class. So this is the one I used for the demo at the start, but this is the one we have just created. So now let's see if it's working. And as we land, the sound is playing. So the sound there is, is sound a little bit flat, but if we want to improve things, we can create Let's go back here. We can create a sound attenuation. Let's call it on fall attenuation. And here we have many, many parameters. Actually, I did a video where I go over all of those parameters in depth. 
So if you are interested in that, you can check it out. I will put it in the description. Um, but basically here, uh, the base parameter are going to be fine. We can just change those one. Let's put it at two, 200 and this one maybe 800. And we need to go to our sound assets and assign the attenuation here to the attenuation settings. And if we try it again, maybe it's not really it's not really obvious, but the sound it sounds a little bit better if we if we make it a bit smaller, maybe 600. It will sound better. There, yeah. I don't know if you see any, a difference, but usually it's better for uh, for IA character or NPCs because the the um, the player character will be always at the same location compared to the camera, so it's not really useful. But it's better for NPCs that are around the character. And we're done. Hey, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like always, you can thumbs up, subscribe and share if you enjoy the content. And uh, see you another time. Bye.